Hey guys, we're back here with another tip for Tristan today. Today we're going to cover some bunker etiquette, okay? We hit our shot into the bunker and it's obviously not where we want to be, but we're going to cover some etiquette things on what we're supposed to do while we're in there, okay? So first off, we're going to need a rake. All right, you can find a rake. Hopefully the rake is set half in, half out with the handle sticking out just like that. Okay, that's how we want all rakes to be put out and put back once we're done. Secondly, I want to enter in the bunker without doing um, any excessive damage, okay? So if I walk in on the high side, I'm making big old footprints as I'm going down. That's not very good. It's going to take a lot more work to fix. All right, we have to spend a lot more time raking, which makes the group behind you wait a lot more. We don't want that. It makes nobody happy. Okay, so we're going to walk in on the low side, or the side of the left seat. And we have smaller footprints. A lot easier to clean up. Secondly, when we go to hit our shot, and I hit the shot, made it in the hole. Perfect. When we go to rake, I'm going to rake in the line of play. So I'm going to rake with my lines going towards the flag and not side to side so that way I don't have to hit into little ribs. All right, it just makes the ball a little bit easier to control coming out of, the, out of the bunker. Next thing is I don't want to pull a bunch of sand from the bottom of the bunker. This is where I want all my sand. So I don't want to pull it all the way up to the sides. So I'm not going to just drag a bunch of sand behind me like this because now I'm pulling all the sand up with me. We want to make sure we're keeping that sand in the bottom where it belongs. Once you're done, set the rake down like that, and you're good to go.